following synthesis in the endoplasmic reticulum, APP is transported to the trans-Golgi network. The newly synthesized APP protein is transported from the TGN to the plasma membrane via the endocytic pathway. APP undergoes clathrin-mediated endocytosis and is recycled back to the trans-Golgi network through the endocytic pathway. The retrograde transport of APP from the early endosome to the recycling endosome occurs through the interaction of APP with the retromer complex. Under disease conditions, APP at the plasma membrane is sequentially processed by beta and gamma secretases to generate amyloid beta fragments. This is referred to as the amyloidogenic processing of APP. Amyloid beta fragments have a propensity to aggregate and form oligomers, which eventually form large proteinaceous deposits known as amyloid plaques. APP along with beta and gamma secretases can be transported to late endosomes for processing. A subset of amyloid beta peptides are recycled back to the surface and released into the extracellular space. Another subset of these amyloid beta peptides is transported to the lysosomes for degradation. Amyloid beta and amyloid plaques bind to several receptors on microglia, which help clear pathogenic aggregates. Individuals with Alzheimer's disease express variants of the microglial receptor TREM2 that have reduced ability to bind to amyloid beta complexes. Amyloid beta can also drive persistent neuroinflammation by binding CD36 on microglia and rupturing lysosomes following internalization, which causes the production of inflammatory cytokines such as IL-1 beta. Amyloid beta oligomers interact with different surface receptors and can re-enter the cell via several mechanisms. Amyloid beta oligomers can mediate the formation of P75 NTR sortilin death receptors and also create pores in the plasma membrane. This results in ER stress or mitochondrial mediated activation of caspases, which triggers the cleavage and aggregation of tau. Amyloid beta can also bind to low density lipoprotein receptor related protein 1, leading to endocytosis through the clathrin dependent pathway. It can then traffic to the lysosome for degradation. Here, we reviewed how amyloid beta is generated from APP on the cell surface, and how these proteins are taken up, recycled, and or degraded in a cell. We also covered how amyloid beta triggers caspase-mediated cell death and neuroinflammation. For more information, visit biolegend.com slash en dash us slash neurodegeneration.